Hello there, YouTube. Uh, well, today we're going to show you how to put ISOs on your jailbroken PSP. Alright, and we're going to assume you already have custom firmware. I'm running 5.50 Gen, and I'll show you that in a couple minutes. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is put your PSP connected to the USB port and hit USB connection mode and mine is right here and once you install custom firmware you're gonna have a folder called ISO and alright we're just gonna minimize that and if you don't have custom firmware message me and I'll tell you how to get it alright we're gonna down you, let's assume you already have some ISOs um, that you legally own and I keep them in a folder on my desktop called ISO of course and here they are well this is a PSP ISO compressor it, it ISOs are sort of a large file ranging from anywhere from 100 megabytes to 2 gigs and you're gonna wanna compress those to, to save memory on your memory card and from what I know on the 5.50 gen custom firmware you're the only compatible files are a .cso file and a .iso file. Now, the NFL Street 3, which is the one I'm going to be putting on there, is only 235 megabytes. So there's no need to compress that. However, Burnout Legends was, I'm pretty sure it was a gig and a half, uncompressed. And to where you could find the PSP ISO compressor, you could just Google it and it comes up right away. Okay, we're going to open up the memory stick, and you'll see the folder called ISO. And it's really simple. You drag into the ISO folder. And we're going to wait for that to copy. Alrighty, and assuming that it's in the folder, we're going to go to memory stick, ISO, and there it is. Okay, now we're going to switch to the PSP. You can exit out of USB connection mode. And voila, we're going to go to game, and there it is and just to show you that it works and by the way I'm using remote joy light version 0 0.19 I found it on google or pspslimhacks.com and it's fairly easy to set up but if you need help just let me know it's not hard it records or it doesn't record it displays directly from your PSP onto your computer and see the game is pretty much functioning and the sound doesn't go through on remote joy light though it stays on your PSP and I'm using hypercam to record the window itself and see we're getting complete functionality and there you go have fun